And question 27, the diagram shows a parallelogram, the size of the angles and degrees of the following, work out the value of x. Now there are many different ways of doing this, but probably, um, the, I'll tell you a few ways of doing it and then I'll do it one way. This is a four-sided shape and we know that angles in a quadrilateral add to 360. So we could add these up and we could make it equal 360 and solve for x. But another way of doing it, because it's a parallelogram, this is the key thing here, that means that angle and that angle, those two, uh, sorry, them, sorry, those uh, line segments are parallel to each other. And you will remember one of your rules, if you have two parallel lines, right, then you know one of the rules is that interior angles add up to 180. So those two add to 180, and also those two add to 180. And it would be probably easiest to deal with these two here. We could say that 2x plus 2x plus 24 must equal 180. It, it absolutely must do, because they are, and we would write down, interior angles. And 2x is 2x is 4x, so 4x plus 24 is equal to 180, okay? So therefore 4x, subtract 24 off both sides, would be 156. And now we've got to divide 156 by 4. Now, what I would do that, I would realise that 160 divided by 4, I can do. Because I know 16 divided by 4 is equal to 4, so 160 divided by 4 is equal to 40. But I've only got 156 divided by 4, so it's 4 less. So x must be equal to 39. And 39 degrees would be the answer. And then you can substitute back in 39 and check these all add up to um, uh, 360, as I said in this rule here. But we're done now.